if your files are there inside the folder also there inside the subfolders in that case how do you really take a backup right what is the changes you have to do in your for loop what is the switch you have to do use in the for loop we are going to learn in this video so let's move on to our screen and let's get started, started. Uh, let's write the code echo off and then uh, here we have to uh, go to folder and subfolder for the backup right so let me go to that folder okay so here you can see this is the folder test folder and inside that there is a we have a test file right we can see there is a test file and inside subfolder there is another test file and if i go back the subfolder 2 also contains another file so there are total three different files okay there are total three different files available in three different places okay one in the subfolder the other one in the subfolder 2 and the third one is in the this one now in the last command what we have learned it was just taking backup of the main folder okay so in this one we are going to learn a new switch that is known as r okay r switch so what is this r switch this r switch represents root so what you do while you are writing this you will be mentioning the entire path of the main folder or the root folder this this you can remember as root directory or root folder so here you provide that main path so what it will do it will understand because you have written r it will go inside the subfolders also okay and rest of the things are pretty simple so let's see the example and understand this entire syntax okay let's go back and write the syntax so i'll first write echo uh, deleting files something like this and then i'll simply use a for loop and in this one the good part is i don't have to do a change directory i don't have to get inside that and do it i can simply write here uh, switch uh, r and then i will take the main directory path and paste it if your directory path has got any space then put it in double quotes otherwise not required okay so once this is done now look at the syntax then you have to mention the variable okay so the variable when you are writing a bash script it has to be double percentage so you can take a b c d whatever you like so i'll go for a all right and then i have to say in now what what kind of files would you like to take a backup so here i will mention that okay i'll mention that star okay dot txt okay so how many number of files are there doesn't matter star means it could be any name but it should be a txt file if you want any kind of a file then put a star here also okay if not simply keep it as txt pretty simple so once this is done what exactly i would like to do okay so i will take a cop backup so i will say do okay this is the exact syntax okay do and write your command so let's write the command do so i would like to copy copy what percentage percentage a percentage percentage a to where you would like to copy you have to provide that backup folder path so this is where i would like to copy simple so here our syntax is ready you can have a look at it so you got an understanding r means what root directory what is the root directory this is the root directory so whatever files are there inside the root directory so executing the for statement in each directory of the tree of the main tree okay so whatever subfolders are there it's going to execute it is going to keep that in percentage percentage a so whatever how many text files are there it is going to keep that in percentage percent a and here we are simply telling copy percentage percent a means that file to this one while it is looping one by one it will pick and you know move it to the required directory getting it so let me save it and run the bash script so now you can see the backup file is uh, blank and the test file has got files inside the directory and subdirectory both okay now what i'm going to do in the subdirectory you can see all the files are there test one test two test three and the backup is blank so let's run it okay i did not pause it right i did not write a pause okay sorry so let me write a pause here save it 
and execute it. So you can see three files got moved. If I go to the backup folder, all test one, test two, test three has come. Okay, sometimes during backup there could be errors. Okay, so generally you have to implement something called as error label. So this I have already explained, but I will try to explain it here also. So what is this error label? If the previous command has executed successfully or not. If it has executed successfully, it should throw zero. If it has not executed successfully, it will throw any non-zero. So this I have explained. I have an error label video. Please do watch that. Okay. But if you have already watched, this will be a you know, revise of that topic. So here what I will do, I'll use a if command and then I'm going to say percentage error label. Okay. Write your spelling correctly. Percentage equals to equals to zero. If it is successful, then I would like to what echo uh, backup completed successfully or backup was successful. Simply. Backup was success successful. Okay. Now if the same thing, I will repeat percentage error label percentage. Okay not equals to so how do i write not equals to that also i have explained you have to simply say n e q not equals to okay not equals to zero echo backup failed i will give you an example okay how this one is working let's give it a pause just to see how the output is coming uh now let's run it again um if I run it again, you can see backup was successful. See, I will create a problem here. What I'm going to do generally, if a file has got, um, what do you say, a, a space or something, right? There is a different way of writing a syntax. Okay. Right now you can see my file doesn't have a, um, uh, a space. And so it is working properly, right? L let's say I'm going to give it a space test space one, uh, right? I given a space. Okay, now if I run it, <clears throat> okay, you can see a backup was successful. Uh, the system cannot find the file specified, but again, uh, for rest of the two, it worked. So in in such a case, uh, right, backup was successful because two things has happened. Uh, so let's do one thing. I don't want that that to be successful. So let's go to this one. Let me delete and delete the subfolders for the moment just to test it okay now i am going to run it so backup fail you can see the message has come backup fail okay backup fail the system cannot find the file specified so in such a case when your file has got a space in that case how to deal i anyways i am going to show you in the upcoming videos but again until now you have learned how this is functioning and how can also how you can also use the error labels this is very important okay while you are designing you want to use the error labels to show a specific kind of a message so thank you guys for watching let's move on to our next topic so continue watching and continue learning please do subscribe in case you have not done it already thank you